We've all seen these barcodes on packaging before. They're called UPC codes. It stands for Universal Product Code. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about where to get UPC codes, how to protect yourself when using them, how to do it properly, and how to turn it into a design that your designer can then place on your packaging. Let's get started. Welcome to Brick by Brick, a step-by-step -step YouTube series that documents the building of a company from start to finish. Hey, there, yeah. This is snapupc.com. Here's where I go to buy UPC codes. They're about $5 a piece. Now, most UPC codes are administered by the GS1. I forget what it stands for, but it's a national association that basically releases and maintains UPC codes. What I found is that they're really expensive and it's difficult to navigate and why if I can just buy a UPC code that works fine. And that's when I found Snap UPC. So instead of spending hundreds of dollars to get a UPC code, I went here and I haven't had a problem since. Now, there is a chance that they might re use a UPC code and it would duplicate and cause a problem with your Amazon listing, but that's the most that I've heard of in terms of consequences. There might be a better solution out there, but this is what I do and this is what works for me. So when I'm buying for Amazon, I buy specifically Amazon UPC codes. And what I do is I just go down here and I hit buy now, and then I determine how many UPC codes I want, whether I want five, 10, whatever. You get price breaks, obviously, the more you buy. So I'll buy it now. Now, this is only for products that you're inventing that don't already have existing UPC codes. If there's already a code on the package, then you're good. You don't have to worry about this step. But for us, we're inventing a product and we have to get this code. Somehow we have to create it and we have to get it to the designer so they can put it on the packaging. So this is how it's done. You go through the website, purchase the codes, create an account if you want, but basically they will email you afterwards. They're gonna email you a number, a digit number. And uh, let me pull up one so I can show you what that looks like. So after you've made your purchase on Snap UPC, you're gonna get a file. It's gonna contain one or however many UPC codes you purchased. There's gonna be two different files. There's gonna be an Excel file, which just lists the number in a spreadsheet, the UPC code that is. And then you're also gonna get a file that is, uh, I believe a JPEG or PNG. And it looks like this. Now this is scannable and can be used in design. And this PNG will totally work because it has a clear background. However, I like to go one step further and turn this into a vector design which means that it's not made out of pixels, it's made out of lines instead, so that it can be shrunk and blown up without losing any quality. Because it's really important these are scannable because this is what Amazon is going to scan when they scan this package in. You know, they're gonna be scanning this barcode, so I need to make sure that it looks really clean. So if for some reason you just had the number, you can go to rename, whoops, not delete. You can go to rename and you can copy this number. You can also copy it from the spreadsheet as well. Then you're gonna to go to a place like Barcode Tech It. It's a really, really simple site. You take your UPC code, you paste it in here, you tell them what kind of UPC code it is. In this case, it's UPC-A. This is our typical you know, universal product code that will work for 90% of stuff that we do in the US. You punch it in here, you go up to your settings, and you tell them what kind of file format you want. You pick SVG, you hit close, and you hit download. Boom. Let's download it to the desktop so you can see what it looks like. And I could just click that SVG and you can see this file now is in a SVG format. I can import it into Illustrator, which is what my designer is going to use to create our packaging. This is the workflow that I've been using for a couple of years. Anytime we release a new product, I've probably used between 10 and 30 UPC codes from snapupc.com. And I only had a problem with one of them once before, and it was for a, an Amazon listing I was creating in Mexico. So I personally haven't had any problems and it's worked great for me so far. As long as you get a UPC code that is unique to you, that you own, and then you turn it somehow into a vector file or have your designer do it, you'll be good. But the point is, is you want it on the bottom of the packaging with both numbers and a scannable barcode so that we can make our inventory management easier. It also adds a level of professionalism that you can't argue with. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave them below. I would love to hear what you think about this method or if you have a better way to do it. There's a lot of people out there who specialize in this type of stuff and I would love to learn from me if you had any insight to give. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.